And welcome back for another episode of Hospital Investigations. This is episode three. I'm your host, Chris G. And we'll be taking a look today at St. Joseph's Hospital. I want to start off by saying that St. Joseph's Hospital has always been a wonderful hospital with wonderfully long wait times, upwards of four to six hours sometimes. And as we'll see, this hospital is extremely empty at this time, which I find to be very unusual for a hospital gearing up for the expected surge that's going to take place in Arizona very soon, according to the media. An article that was recently brought to my attention by viewer version 7.0 states that the National Guard will be going around to collect dead bodies in U-Haul vans in New York City. Now, I'm merely speculating here, but I feel that article came out in relation to the fact that the hashtag Film Your Hospital movement was bringing awareness to people that the hospitals were empty in their areas. Another weird fact about that article is that it states that 450 people are dying a day inside their places of residence. And what's weird about that is you would think that people living together would say, hey, you're sick, let's get you to the hospital if they're showing symptoms. Or people that live on their own would uh, make their way to the hospital to survive because the news has been telling everyone the symptoms. All right, so this is where this video gets weird. That's staff parking only, it says. And the whole parking lot is empty. Granted, this isn't one of the biggest hospitals in town, but it's still big enough to fill this parking lot on a regular basis. And this isn't the only parking lot for employees, doctors, nurses, and such. There's this parking lot, too, that says for Carondelet Associate Parking Only. And as we see here, it's very empty. Uh, it's hard to believe that this whole hospital is being run by this few many people working. Even if two people were in every car, that's still not very many people working right now. So now we've come full circle. So the point to all this is, is to keep asking questions. Questions lead to answers, lead to the truth. And the truth is freedom. God bless. Thank you.